guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a summer nighttime routine with you guys. The summer is flying by. We start school in about two weeks or less. It's less actually. And I really wanted to get this out for you guys just to show you what we have been doing in the summertime. Our schedule is really relaxed. Just kind of a go with the flow and when school gets back it'll definitely get more structured but i just wanted to have a video for you guys to show you what we do as a large family um, just going through the summertime so we've already done dinner and after dinner we immediately put the kids in the bath most days um, unless there's something exciting going on outside which there's not today so we are washing noah's hair here as you can see and he's got his towel on his face because you know he's scared but um thankful he's not screaming i've had some kids who would scream when i would get the shampoo out of their hair so i'm i'm happy he's not doing that so i am just getting him all cleaned up and while i'm in the bathroom i am going to just kind of talk to them and connect with them a little bit and then i will also in just a moment i'll start cleaning the bathroom because with our schedule kind of being all over the place there are some things i like to do every day but i'm not going to beat myself up over it not being done so if it doesn't i'll just do it in the nighttime and that's what i'm doing i think i'm a pretty uh creative person so a lot of times in the evenings my um energy really amps up especially if i've had coffee too late but and that's beside the point and that's another video but anyway so I wanted to do this with you guys today um, I'm just talking with Noah and seeing how he's doing the husband is actually using his phone as a camera so please forgive me <laughs> it looks a little bit different but it'll get back to normal next thing I'm gonna do is start cleaning the toilet I did not do it this morning like I should have and like I usually do so that's what I'm going to tackle right now um, I'm going to separate a little bit of clothes there's always laundry you guys I mean like for real and I am going to be doing a laundry routine with you guys but I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do it I mean I feel like it would be boring so let me know do y'all just want to know how I sort my clothes do y'all want to do a laundry chat do you want to do um how I handle it with so many people in the house, with seven people in the house. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are wanting to see because you guys have told me you wanted a laundry routine video and I'm happy to do it, but just kind of let's um, narrow it down just a little bit. So I am going to clean the toilet and I've got my PDI wipes here and my sweet subscribers have informed me that it is indeed, it is in fact, important to have gloves on when you use this so thank you guys for letting me know i've seen the warning side sign on the side of the container but i really didn't know why so most times to be quite honest i will use gloves but there have been many videos where i have not especially if i'm being lazy but i'm glad that you guys let me know why i need to so that is what i did now i'm going to wipe down the sink like i do just so you know a quick wipe down i'm not going to do a deep scrub but i'm going to get all of the gunk out of there and just to make it look nice um, i am now going to pick up all of the toys i have been making the kids pick up their bath time toys after they're done but my boys can be so fast you guys like it's like wet dogs. You know wet dogs go crazy? So my boys. So I just went ahead and picked up the toys and I am now moving on to the kitchen. Uh, they are getting their clothes on and I'm going to tackle some of the dishes. As you guys have seen in other cook and clean with me's, I clean while I cook. So there's not much to see now except for this pan here needed to soak and that is what I'm going to tackle now. Go ahead and take care of this while they're getting their clothes on and um, just finish any of the extra stuff in the kitchen. As much as I would love to clean once after dinner and be done, it just doesn't happen. Someone needs drinks, someone needs another snack, you know how it goes. So that is what I'm doing here, just cleaning up this dish. I will also tackle our cups and our coffee mugs and everything like that and rent out the sink a little bit as well. You guys know I like to rent out my sink every single evening. I'm rinsing out my Dunkin' Cup. Anybody else love sweet tea? I love it. I like to get a half sweet, half unsweet with light ice at Dunkin' and they, they were a dollar. They've gone up a little bit. I've been doing better and making my own, but let me know if y'all like sweet tea and where's your favorite place to get them. 
So now I am going to have the kiddos help me straighten up the living room because let's just be honest, they've been sitting in here all day. Um, it is hot here in Florida and they do not like to play outside very much, which is, it, which is such a struggle, you guys. Because when I was little, we had no choice. You played outside, that's what you did. So times have changed. So they're gonna help me clean this up. Drew's really good at helping me do this. Um, so is Isabella. The little kids seem like they're more interested in their robes than anything else. That's okay. So I'm going to get the living room all taken care of because we are actually going to do some Bible reading as a family tonight. Um, oh, there goes Ruby. Uh, for some reason, she loves to... Liam is her... Okay, you guys, this is what we call them, ugly puppies. When she was a puppy and she would play with them, I told the kids, they, they wondered you know, why she would jump all over them. And I said, because you're just an ugly puppy. Because obviously they're human and they're not puppies. And in Ruby's eyes, they're probably... She's probably just thinking, wow, they're ugly puppies. So we call them ugly puppies. So there's Ruby playing with her ugly puppy, Liam. And some what reason, he always gets her riled up. So don't worry, we don't let it get too far. And if you saw me just a moment ago, that was me trying to stop Noah from running naked in my living room. Mamas of boys, why don't they like to wear clothes? I just do not understand it. So he was running back and forth. I edited a lot, a lot of it out because I'm not putting that all over the internet, but that is why my face got crazy that way. Finally, he has some clothes on. I'm very happy to see that. That boy is so wild, you guys. I can't even, but he is hilarious. All these boys are so sweet, but crazy. You see right there the metal clock on the wall, how I'm missing a sconce up there. That's due to Josiah. And actually currently right now the entire setup is taken down because Liam decided to shoot it with a Nerf gun. So I have got to fill the holes because there's big old holes in the wall now from the screws getting pulled out. And I've got to redo the whole thing. So. I actually posted that on my Instagram today, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that. I showed you everything that the kids destroyed this summer. So now I'm going to work on some laundry that needs to get done before the night ends. We are going to try, and I mean try, you guys. This is not perfect, so please just give us some grace. We try to do Bible reading with our kiddos, but honestly more times than not i have to say that it does not work because the boys are bouncing off the walls or actually off the couch and we are trying to just instill this in him in them that's what's really important to us but um it is not always easy so So now that our Bible reading is done, my husband is a sweetheart. He just, he's one of those guys that has these moments. It's like a movie for him all the time. So he's a sweetheart. He's giving me some love here. I just love him so much. We're going to go ahead and get the boys ready for bed. It is my night. So you guys will get to hang out with me while I put them to bed. And they are crazy. So watch this.
your mind And it won't come easy But I know it's worth the fight And I will run across the rivers Anywhere with you I won't give up I'll take my chances Now that the kids are all in bed, I'm going to wash my makeup off. I am actually out of eye makeup remover, so I use my coconut oil here I have in my bathroom. Um, I like to just keep some around my bathroom to moisturize my skin if I need to, and it works really well to get makeup off, so definitely give it a try. Forget how much it takes. No reasons left behind. I'm using this Garnet Skin Care. It's like an all-natural face wash. I like it. I don't love it. It does the job, but um, I'm actually in the market for a good face wash. I was using the Rodan and Fields Redefine, and I loved it. But I am out, and I just can't afford to stock up right now. So let me know what you guys have for some drugstore face wash that you guys really love. Cross the river. So I ordered this Paula's Choice toner and I really do like it. It's this BHA toner and it's got salicylic acid and I believe, I, I really think it is working. Um, like I had already mentioned, I was using the Rodan and Fields Re Redefine and I noticed a big difference in my skin. I just ran out of it. Then I've been using the other Rodan and Fields, the Brightening. I like that as well because I am a natural uh, fair skin, redhead, and I have lots of freckles, and I'm getting some sunspots, and I've been burned terribly in my life. I mean, terribly. So there's definitely some sun damage there. So once I can, I'd like to stock back up and get my Redefine again, and then also use my Rodan and Fields uh, instead of the lightning, or excuse me, instead of the brightening, do the lightning to lighten some of these uh, dark spots. If you guys have anything that lightens your dark spots, let me know. So I'm using this Triology Rosehip Oil and Antioxidant. You guys, this is my holy grail right now. I got this at Ulta. You see how I'm applying it? You guys, I'm telling you, it is something that I think I will use for the rest of my life, no matter what. It is amazing. It's not greasy. I have combination skin, especially if I have breakouts and I've had to use any acne treatment. I will have flaking. This stuff here is incredible. It goes on beautifully, and as you can see, I work it into an upward circular motion. Um, I've noticed my skin around my neck is starting to get a little crepey, which really makes me very sad. I don't even want to get into it. So I'm doing whatever I can do to stop the signs of aging now. I don't mind aging. I just would like to age gracefully. The Redefine Eye treatment here from Rodan and Fields. I really do like it. I've got puffy circles under there and I think it's because, um, well, five kids and because I have not been very sensitive to the skin under my eyes uh, for many years and I think it's just kind of, you know, gravity bags right there. So I've noticed they definitely look better. This is what my skin looks like after the oil has absorbed. Just it's dewy, it's supple and I love it. So now that I'm all done with that, we are going to get ready for bed. Some nights uh, we will read together, some nights we will watch a show, some nights I'll play on my phone if he has to work or I'll edit a video. This night, thankfully, we were able just to go to bed together. Um, after I turned off the camera, we decided to watch a little show together, but we just kind of want to hang out and talk a little bit because, you know, when you have so many kids in the house, it's hard to really talk to each other, if I'm being honest. So, and honestly, you guys, I really love my husband. I really enjoy him, and he is my best friend. So anytime I can get with him, I will take it. You will see Ruby coming up here because she will not be having that. She wants all the attention, all the love. She's spoiled and we do let her on our bed. I was not a fan of animals on the bed. Um, you guys might not know this about me, but I'm a cat person. I love cats and I do love dogs. I love all animals if I'm being honest, but I've always favored cats, but Ruby is my girl and 
I've had labs in the past and they're the best ever. I mean, I honestly can't, I should just say I love all animals, but um, I never let, I always let my cats on the bed, but I didn't let my dogs on the bed. But she is just different and she gets away with it and she's wonderful and she sleeps at the edge of the bed. She cuddles for a while and then she goes right back to the edge of the bed and usually on my side and cuddles up with me and she's just amazing. So I'm so thankful for her. She has been the best dog, so. We build a pass on stolen ground, but now I cannot seem at all to find my sound. My harmony is not broken. It's like now my husband is wanting to rub my feet. He does do massages on my feet regularly. He's very sweet. He likes to do it, so I will take it. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you guys join my little family here on YouTube. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. We had a plan, but tiny changes can be hard to understand.